All right. Um, thanks to um, Fix94 for this. He made a little uh, payload stub that, when compiled and tacked onto an ARM7 binary, can make older stuff boot directly from TBL, TWL for. Now I'm going to show this working with DS firmware. It's a really old repack of the DS uh, BIOS as a DS file. It's been around for ages and it wouldn't boot even after correcting the ARM7 entry settings on the, in the header. And that alone wouldn't fix it because it was trying to, uh, it was designed to use a different memory address and it just wasn't going to work. But he, he, using his payload, which he was trying to get his uh, DSTT flashcard working. Unfortunately, it didn't seem to work for him with that. But in this instance, he got this to boot. So maybe we can get other stuff booting with this. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to show this off. Um, I forgot to plug in the headphones. As you can see, but I'm going to do this again because I didn't have the headphones in, so you can hear the nice little jingle. Matter of fact, I'm going to take out my flashcard. Check out my flashcard. As you can see, there's nothing, nothing in there. Can't really see it. Obviously, this particular one will still want to do the setup thing, so it'll 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 lose its settings every time you boot it. So you can't really do anything with this. But the important thing is, this was like super incompatible with TBL firmware. It wouldn't want to boot it with its original ARM7 settings. So the fact that this works at all means that I can probably boot more flashcards. Not the DSTT, apparently that it didn't work on that, but it might work with others if I'm lucky. So I know I booted a ROM of Deep Labyrinth and that just started up my Gateway Blue card. I don't have a proper roundup of that one, but in theory, I can just get straight ROM dumps of flashcards to work now, because a lot of the older ones use the incompatible ARM7 entry point settings, and that's the reason why they haven't been working right now. But we're going to see how much stuff I could get working with this. And as you can see, after I set up the profile settings, it wants to shut down. Maybe this can be fixed later, but that's like something, that's like a side project. But for now, classic DS firmware working on 3DS without a flashcard.